following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Boatest.com. And Regal has had a good success run with its 26 Faz deck since coming out last year. But market trends are clearly leaning towards outboard power and the roominess, handling, and ease of use it provides. Not one to sit and watch the grass grow, Regal instead responded by making a popular boat even more so with the 26 OBX. A deck boat with room for 12, the handling of the fast deck stepped hull, and the versatility of outboard power at 250 or 300 horsepower. Let's start by looking at the layout. One of the concerns when moving to outboard power is the potential for losing the functionality of the swim platform. Not a concern here as we still have walk around capability at this roomy platform. The side decks extend 3 feet 4 inches back from the transom and the ladder extends down on the port side 22 inches. Just ahead is Regal's Ultra Lounge with a flip seat back that can allow for relaxing in multiple positions. There's a separate seat back in a fixed position to the port side so we can still sit while others are lounging in the 3 foot 9 inch wide sun pad. A stereo remote is down low to starboard and we'd like to see that move to the sun pad area. Storage is underneath the seat. We're already starting to see the quality that we've come to expect from the brand. To the sides are polished stainless steel trim accents. Cleats are well up high. Then combination drink and rod holders and a freshwater shower. There's thick marine grade upholstery in multiple tones, diamond pattern stitching, and contrast bead welding on all the seats. There's even custom embroidery. A walk through to the starboard side leads to the cockpit where the bulk of the gathering and entertaining will take place. There's storage in the deck. The entry is angled so it doesn't impinge on the available seating. Wraparound seating to port includes a rounded seat pack in the corner so even this position is comfortable. Fully forward, the flip seat pack allows conversion from forward facing to aft facing, with the wraparound bolster then becoming the seat pack. The bulwarks include speakers with stainless grill, stainless drink holders and grab handles all continuing forward. Add a side mount pedestal table for more functionality. Bring the beach chairs, totes, maybe even the kitchen sink because there's plenty of room where the stern drive used to be under the electric lift hatch. There's storage under all seats. To starboard it includes a carry-on cooler. And at the aft seats we can see that the compartment is self-draining into the bilge. Seagrass snap and carpeting has trim color matched to the boat. Overhead is the power tower. It lowers at the touch of a button and notice how we can still operate the boat with the tower lowered. Great feature for low bridges. Inside the port console is the head compartment. It features an open port light for ventilation. A Corian counter has a stainless steel sink. Choose from this manual flush head or a porcelain electric flush head with pump out. The walkthrough to the bow can be closed off with a lower air dam and walkthrough windshield. When opened, the doors are held in position with magnetic catches. Regal carried the beam well forward to provide more room in the bow area in deck boat fashion. Dual lounge seats, one to each side, can be used forward facing or with guests facing each other and the length of the seats allows for four to gather here quite comfortably, even across the front of the seat. That comfort is supplemented by the thickly padded lumbar supports and flip down armrests. Stainless drink holders, grab rails and speakers are tucked into the bulwarks. And again we're seeing more quality with the diamond stitching, multiple tones, custom embroidery and notice the high quality hardware even for the flip armrests. A side mount accommodates a pedestal table. Both seats lift to their full lengths to reveal cavernous storage. Additional storage is behind the starboard seat back. A filler cushion turns the area into a full sun pad. We can remove the forward cushion to reveal a step up to the foredeck where there's a hatch over the concealed beach reboarding ladder and notice the grab handle is integrated into the hatch. Moving to the helm, the main focal point is the Garmin dash providing the GPS and all gauge interactivity. Just to the left is the fuel gauge and digital depth gauge. Below are a cubby and fusion stereo just to the left of the steering wheel mounted to a tilt base. Rocker switches are to the right of the wheel and trip tap controls are just above. The seat is seat and a half width and includes plush upholstery and a flip up holster. It's adjustable fore and aft. Drink holders and storage cubby are to the side bulwarks. Now let's get around the water. The Regal 26 OBX has a length overall of 26 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches and a draft of 36 inches. With an empty weight of 4,750 pounds, 90% fuel and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 5,710 pounds. With a single 300 horsepower Yamaha 4.2 liter V6 run up to 5,800 RPM, we reached our top speed of 50.5 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 3,500 RPM and 24.7 miles per hour. At that speed, 
The 8.8 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 2.8 statute miles per gallon in a range of 260 miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 103 gallon total fuel capacity. As for her handling, advancing the throttle will have her on plane in 3.2 seconds. She'll reach 20 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds and pass through 30 in 9.3. She'll accelerate from a fairly level attitude with no interruption to the forward visibility. Her fast stack step tall contributes to her performance and good handling that allows for smooth running in choppy conditions. In turn tests, she responded well with just a hint of a slide that took the edge off of any sharp turns and therefore kept the ride comfortable. Well, in my opinion, this 26 OBX provides plenty of room functionality, and good handling in a boat that can entertain a large group in style. And it represents Regal's power of choice theme being available in outboards ranging from 250 to 300 horsepower, and even in stir drive with the 26 Fazdeck. And that's our full test and features inspection of the 26 OBX from Regal. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.